Welcome back, starting off a new vlog. It is actually Friday when I'm starting this, so this is gonna be a weekend vlog, but I actually just got back from Ohio, so I'm very much ready to just kind of be back in my routine. I'm actually about to pick up some groceries, so I'll share a little grocery haul when I get home because we definitely had to do a stock up. Just got a great workout in too. Sometimes I kind of like to do all of my out and about things first, so I just threw on a hat. I need to run and grab just normal groceries, and then I also need to do a Target run just for some toiletries and stuff like that. So that's the game plan for today, but I'm so excited for this weekend. I'm so excited just to have a weekend at home. I also have some fun things planned too. But yeah, today's Friday. I'll share what the plans are for the rest of the day once I get home. But for now, I'm ready to get some groceries. Let's go. In Ohio, I picked up this tote bag at one of our favorite family farms. We know the owners of Lynn's Fruit Farms and they just started selling this tote bag. So I like, have to use this. Got some late July tortilla chips. These are our favorite. They're so good. Some of these Justin peanut butter cups. I got some crackers. I've been liking making just kind of like little charcuterie boards for lunch. I'm actually about to make one because I'm really hungry right now. A bunch of produce for recipes. I think I'm gonna make non pizzas tonight, but they didn't actually have non at Whole Foods. So I just went ahead and got some pita bread. I have been trying not to go to Whole Foods because it's just so expensive, but I do love their produce and because I was really stocking up this time, I decided just to do a big stock up. Pita bread, got some tortillas. I'm gonna do like an enchilada skillet one night and then also some cheese slices. Ezekiel bread, because we were actually eating this in Ohio and I go back and forth because sometimes I like this. Sometimes it does just kind of taste like bird food <laughs> or something to me. It just is not the tastiest bread. But sometimes when I want a lighter bread, I do really like this. And I do plan on making sourdough this weekend. So we will also have some normal bread too. Chopsticks, cause I was also eating these a lot in Ohio. Some more produce, some minced garlic. I like just having that easy on hand for recipes. Ran out of flour for my starter. So picked up some of that. Also picked up some grapes. I've really been into fruit lately, which I'm pretty much always into, but especially lately, I've just been loving fruit. Some pre-cut watermelon because anytime I try to buy watermelon, a whole watermelon, it just never is good. I never pick out the right one. Got a couple of Ollie Pops, some Purely Elizabeth granola. This is my favorite. And I just ran out for my yogurt bowls. I like having these carrot shreds on hand for when I do side salads with dinner. So we just picked up some of those. Some canned things for our enchilada skillet spinach for a recipe. I got some organic chicken breasts, which I don't always get, but I got them this time because they were on sale, which is always nice. This is my favorite cold brew, which is also another reason why I like to go to Whole Foods. Some peaches. I've really been liking peaches lately. And then some chicken lunch meat. I'm gonna go ahead and put this stuff away and then get ready. I can't believe it's already almost noon. It's crazy. I'm getting ready for the day right now. By getting ready for the day, I mean throwing on some quick makeup because it's one o'clock at this point. And I have been really liking not wearing a ton, a ton of makeup lately, especially when I was in Ohio, I did just really light makeup. And by that, I mean, I just haven't really been wearing eye makeup as much and it's been really nice. I feel like for the summertime, especially this, this is from Ilia, it's their cheek tint. This is in the shade Whisper. I love this. I think it's just such a pretty kind of light flush that it adds to your cheeks. And I even put this on my eyelids too. I feel like it just kind of warms up my face, especially when I'm not wearing a ton of eye makeup. But for today, for the rest of the day, I am going to start going through our front room because essentially in this room, we have kind of like a formal living room, which I just don't think they really make houses like that anymore. I feel like it's usually like the TV room and the living room, dining room are kind of all an open concept. Not every house, but this one's older. So it's just weird having both our TV area and then also a living space. And I'm pretty sure we're receiving some furniture. I just have a window. Technically the window starts today. So I would like to have that room cleared out. Although I think we had to put the furniture together. So I don't think it's something where they need to have all this space open. I'm kind of hoping that's not the case. And so I'm gonna start going through our last few boxes that we have in that room. And then tomorrow Aiden's gonna help me too because there are just a lot of things we need to move to storage and 
kind of sort through. And so I'm gonna start that today. We also are starting to get some of our nursery furniture in, which is really, really exciting. I'm actually getting a pretty big dresser tomorrow in there because the thing about the nursery is there isn't a closet in there. And I would like to hang up a decent amount of his clothes, but I just wanted to get a big kind of dresser changing table so we can use it for other rooms down the road, but also just to have a lot, a lot of storage in there since there's not a closet. And that it's nice because they're actually gonna build that, I'm pretty sure, but they're coming tomorrow morning. And even that room needs to be cleared a little bit out. And so I'm also filming this little belly growth video and this is something that I saw from if you guys know Delilah on YouTube I believe her username is Lepsky's Life or Lepke's Life I always pronounce her last name wrong but I watched this video she did years and years ago essentially just showing a little clip of her belly growing each week and it is something that I have done since I was five weeks pregnant and I'm gonna be honest I never want to do it because I have to wear the same well I don't have to but I choose to wear the same outfit every single time so you can really see the growth. It's just annoying sometimes to have to change into this outfit, set up my tripod, get the clip every single week. But I have done it up until this point and I'm 22 weeks tomorrow so I need to film my 21st week. And it is already so cool to see the growth and especially, I don't know, your body growing and changing can be kind of jarring and this has made the whole experience just much more fun and to really celebrate all the growth and all the areas of my body and so I need to film that clip too but I'm so excited to post that when I have all 40 weeks or however long I end up carrying him in my womb but we need to film that clip too and I also got some cute baby clothes in the mail from a sweet brand so I wanted to share a little baby haul too. I've been using a lot of products from Dime lately. This isn't sponsored, but I really like this. This is their Thirsty Face Mist. It is so hot here in Texas right now that this is just so refreshing every time to use, especially when I don't have on a ton of eye makeup. I feel like it just makes my skin look really glowy. So I love this. I do have a code with them though. I'll put it on the screen right here if you guys wanna check them out. For my outfit today, I am wearing this onesie from Amazon. And it is so comfortable, especially for pregnancy. I think that it is just a dream. Again, not the most flattering thing. I have the long version of this from Free People and I love it, but this is so nice for summer. And I got a medium. I feel like it's like the perfect oversized look. And then I'm just wearing this tank top from Nudes underneath. I also just went through and organized my Amazon storefront. So I wanted to share that too. I'll have that link down below. Basically, anytime I order something and I really recommend it, especially clothing, I always throw it on my storefront. So if you you want to check that out i just did a whole maternity section and it's always things that i have bought before too it's not just random stuff that i throw on there because i really want to vet the stuff but this is one that i just threw on there because it is so comfortable i'm in the nursery right now but this is actually his crib i don't know when we're going to set this up there's really no rush right now and for the nursery, I do plan on painting the walls and also doing, I'm pretty sure this wall is gonna be a wall of stick and peel wallpaper because it's pretty small. It's not a huge wall, so I think it'll be relatively affordable. And then the other walls, I'm thinking that I'll just do a paint color, but so excited for this. But this is kind of my collection of stuff that I have acquired for him and just baby stuff, all that. And so I do need to figure out, I'll probably just move it out of here while we work on it and then sort through everything, which our friends got us these little trunks from Bucky's. If you know, you know, and I just think they're so sweet. And our other friend, they have a baby girl and she has a one piece that has Bucky on it. And so we are gonna totally have to take a photo when they wear those together. Sorry if it's kind of loud in here. Our bedroom doesn't get the best airflow for some reason and so we basically always have fans going in here but I wanted to share some of the things that I got from Pear because these are so sweet. I'll have these linked down below. I've heard a lot of people talk about how it's really difficult to find just cute boy clothes and from my experience so far I have found so many cute outfits online and especially this brand I love. I do think girl clothes are a little bit cuter more fun to shop for but some of the boy stuff is just so precious i also don't always share all the unboxings and everything that i get for myself but it's just so much more fun getting baby clothes in the mail and so i always feel the need to share them with you guys i also am so thankful to be gifted a lot of this stuff and so i do plan on using these as hand-me-downs for siblings friends all that so yeah i am just really really grateful first are these little pjs these are 18 to 24 months how 
cute. I love all the blue and white stripes. And I also really like this brand because their stuff is 100% organic cotton and it just feels so soft. And I know it's gonna feel really good on his skin. This little onesie is six to 12 months, which will be so nice for the spring and summertime. I think that it's just so cute. Love the sea foam. They also have the cutest kind of aquatic patterns. And so I found this sleeper that has whales on it which is just so sweet. This is zero to three months. And oh my goodness, I can't get over just how soft and thick these are, which will especially be nice when he's first born because it is gonna be in the winter time. We also have this sleep sack. This is for zero to nine months. It has all these aquatic creatures on it. So sweet. How many times can I say so sweet? And then we also have this little burp cloth, which I just think is so, so precious. So I had to share those. I will have those linked down below. They have very precious girl clothes too, but I think that their boy stuff is just so sweet. Some of the sweetest stuff that I think you can find. This is my project for the rest of the afternoon. I'm gonna go through these boxes right here. We really don't have a ton left. And then here we just have trash that we need to break down. So it's really not a ton. We also have these chairs that we need to figure out what we're gonna do with. This is kind of just a cluttered disaster right now. This room is also just always hard to show because it has these beautiful beautiful windows, but they show right outside our house. So I don't like to share that view just for privacy reasons, but it's such a cute room. And so I'm excited to finally kind of zhuzh it up a little bit, but getting rid of this stuff is definitely the first that needs to happen. Head high and shoulders back. Watching you with such a thrill. All that I could do is laugh. I just sat down to take a little break and Mr. Cash cuddled up here and now I do not want to move because he is so comfy. He has basically claimed this guest bedroom as his own. I catch him so many times throughout the day just making himself at home on this bed. I think it's really cute. I love him so much. We had a bunch of boxes in the nursery, also some storage stuff that we're still gonna take. I just moved, but officially everything in here is only baby stuff, which feels great. And so tomorrow when they bring the dresser, I'm pretty sure I'm actually gonna want it right here. So I might just move all this stuff over to this wall, but they'll have plenty of room to build it. So we could just keep it right there. And then in this room, we have a lot more space right here. We are gonna keep this little shoe rack and then this painting I think we're gonna hang somewhere on the walls but these mirrors we still need to find a place for I definitely want to put them somewhere and then everything over here this is all recycling we need to take out and then these are going to storage because we just don't have a bar at this house but I really like these bar stools but those all need to go next up I'm gonna measure this wall in here because I think that I should probably order that wallpaper pretty soon and I wanna know exactly how much I'm gonna need. I also wanna know how much it's gonna cost because if it's gonna be a crazy amount, especially because we're just renting, I don't really wanna do it, but I wanna do it, but that just doesn't really make sense. So if it makes sense from a cost perspective, I think we'll go ahead and do it. I also got my newly in for the month. I don't think I'm gonna do a try on this month just because I'm gonna be wearing these pieces for mostly our baby moon, so you'll see them. But I did want to show this one because I think that it is so cute. I tried this on when I got home last night because I was so excited. But it's this just crochet mesh kind of bodycon dress. And it has the cutest little butterflies on it. And it's so funny because I put this in my newly, and then I was on Instagram the other day and I saw my friend Allison rented this too. And it looked so cute on her. And I was thankful that she posted it because this didn't have reviews. Typically I really watch the reviews on newly to see if it's a piece that's worth renting, but it looked so cute on her. So tried it on, loved it. And it's also really cute for the bump. It's a little bit tight. So that's something that I wish I would have gotten a small. Oh, I did get a small. I wish I would have gotten a medium instead of a small, but super cute. And I also got this dress for our little maternity shoot that we're gonna do there. It's this off the shoulder bodycon dress and it is so beautiful. I wasn't sure how this was gonna work out either, but 
the material is so nice on it it is so stunning i cannot wait to wear this for the photos and just to have it's such a flattering especially maternity dress but that was from princess polly and i just love when you order stuff and it just works out and you don't have to exchange it i got the right size i got this in a size four and it is just absolutely perfect so soft and now there's one more thing that i really want to get done today and that is just hanging some mirrors that we have not those giant ones in the front but a couple of the other ones and i think a lot of you guys had told me to move these containers right here over to this wall and then put the mirror on this wall so i think i'm going to see how that looks and if there's enough room right there because there really isn't a ton that's the one reason why i hadn't done that but we'll see if that works out and then i also have this mirror over here this one in the hallway i have this one right there that i think i would love to hang up right here and then this right here i don't know if this is going to go here or above the bed i want to put it above the bed but i just i don't know it makes me nervous hanging things right above the bed especially because this is a guest room but that one i think we'll do later because aiden's gonna have to help me with that but for now i think the mirrors are doable for me just hung up this mirror i think it looks really good right here it's nice having a full length mirror in this room because the bathroom one is so short so definitely wanted to put this one here and then right here this one went up i think it looks nice and i'm really glad that you guys suggested moving this one over here because i think it looks so much better it also just opens up the room that's why i really love having mirrors everywhere but it's also just nice to have full length mirror for outfit photos for me but also just to use to check out your outfit before you head out the door and then we have these ugly plastic drawers that are still here at least they're a little bit more hidden here but we can just get a dresser that'll better fit we did also move the bed over a little bit so there was a bit more space for when we do get a proper dresser but for now i think that the setup is much better about to make us some dinner i'm gonna do those barbecue chicken pita pizzas that i mentioned earlier which i've never done before but they look good so excited Saturday morning I just made myself some breakfast very simple just a scrambled egg on some toast with a peach on the side I'm about to eat this it is about eight o'clock right now I just rolled out of bed and went and grabbed a coffee and came back to the house because I have a furniture delivery that's coming today and the window is between 9 to 11 and every time I track it the time switches which it's a little bit unfortunate because I would really, really love to go to the farmer's market this morning with Aiden. There's one we've been wanting to go to and we just haven't been home on a weekend or the weekends that we have been home, we've been working on the house. So I really wanted to do that today, but it's over at noon and I just don't know when they're gonna come. So I'm really hoping they come earlier rather than later. My window was nine o'clock when I first checked it and then it was 11.50, which isn't even in my <laughs> scheduled time. So I don't know, we'll see, but they're actually building the furniture too. So we kind of need to be here. It's not just like a drop off. Also tonight, if all goes to plan, I'm not sure if this is 100% planned yet, but my sisters and i are going to a paramore concert this is something we bought tickets for a while ago we actually went to a killers concert recently and it was so so much fun and just such a fun girls night out however we all just got back from ohio and my sister jamie actually stayed a couple of extra days so she's getting in today at three so it's kind of cutting it close and my sister Lindsay wasn't feeling the absolute best and so we're gonna see if this all comes together i'm not totally sure if we're still going or not i think it's about 70 percent confirmed that we are that'll definitely be a fun night so i'll probably just hang low until then just got a call they're gonna be here in 20 minutes which is perfect so that'll be right around 9 30 and 
I think that should give us enough time to check out the farmer's market still. But I wanted to share this book because I actually started this last night. This was a rec from my sister-in-law. It's called Crib She. It says a data-driven guide to better, more relaxed parenting from birth to preschool. And this is from Emily Oster. She also wrote Expecting Better, if you've ever heard of that. It's kind of not necessarily debunking, but giving a lot of the data and evidence or lack thereof behind just kind of like general baby parenting things that everyone accepts as the norm and it's really good. I'll just read the back. She says, as any new parent knows, there's an abundance of often conflicting advice hurled at you from doctors, family, friends, and strangers on the internet. From the earliest days, parents get the message that they must make certain choices around feeding, sleep, and schedule or all will be lost. But the benefits of these choices can be overstated and the trade-offs can be profound. How do you make your own best decision? Armed with the data, award-winning economist, mother, and author Emily Oster finds that the conventional wisdom doesn't always hold up. In Crib Sheet, she debunks common myths to offer a thinking parent's guide to the chaos and frequent misinformation of the early years. I just read the section on kind of being in the hospital and giving birth and all the different things that happen there. And I just found it really good. I think even if you don't necessarily agree with everything and you feel very passionate about doing things a certain way, I do think it's informative just to get kind of more data i also follow her on instagram and i've been liking just looking at her instagram reels stories all of that and so i'll link this down below if you're interested i also have a whole section on my amazon storefront of all the books that i have read so far the ones that i also recommend too if i read something and i don't recommend it then i won't put it on there but of course a lot of these books too have different perspectives and for me i think that that's really important just getting different ideas and perspectives and really like this i'm probably going to read for the next 20 minutes before they get here and then have our furniture built okay they just dropped off the dresser i guess they didn't have to build it or anything it was already built which is so nice at this point this dresser is so gorgeous i am thinking of actually replacing the knobs on it with probably some gold ones maybe not sure what's in there but the changing table is all attached which is great and then this actually matches our crib really well our crib we ordered from baby leto i don't know when we're gonna assemble that but it's kind of like a cream and natural color so i think the two of these are gonna go really well together because i wanted something that was big just because we don't have a closet in his room but i am thinking of getting a little clothing rack just to hang his little nicer outfits but looks so good just changed and wanted to share that this is one of the pieces of my newly order that i'm so thankful i got because this is my first pair of like maternity pants in general but these are shorts and i think that they're so comfortable i got a size 27 but i kind of wish i would have gotten a size 28 i typically am a 27 but they're just a little bit short but i think they're super cute and comfortable and it's so nice to not have to wear dresses because i finally have a pair of shorts that fit and then this top that I'm wearing is from Nude, so just threw it on because it's super comfy. Back from the farmer's market, it is hot outside. It's only night, I say only, but it's 90 degrees. But whew, it is toasty. We got some cute stuff though. These flowers was so funny right when I was walking up to purchase them, he was marking them down because I guess he was about to head home and didn't want to bring them all home, but we got this really pretty flower bouquet. And for some reason, these smell just like Fruit Loops. I don't know why, but they smell so nice. I think I'm gonna put these in, I don't know where, because we have those hydrangeas right there, but I figured that we could find a spot for those. And then there was a bagel stand. These look so good. These are cinnamon raisin bagels. Just picked up a pack of these. And then she also was selling a bunch of different cream cheeses. And this one is Texas peach cream cheese, which sounds phenomenal. And then we also stopped by a honey stand. And in Ohio, we were just talking about how it's so nice to find the honey that also has the comb in it because it's nice to actually spread it on toast, a little bit of the comb and you get that crunch. This is from Honey Apple Farm, which is in Ben Wheeler, Texas. So some local honey. And she also had some bee pollen, which I know is very nutritious. And I do like to add this on my yogurt bowls. It's sometimes hard to find. I do know that you can pick it up at Whole Foods, but 
figured that this would be nice to have too. So nice little collection of farmer's market goodies. Aiden just went to get my car washed, which is great because my car definitely is in need of a car wash, but I'm gonna go ahead and put this stuff away. We talked about going to the pool too and just going for a couple of hours since it's so hot outside. Tonight, we're still going to the Paramore concert. My sister Lindsay's not feeling the best though. So I think Jamie and I are just gonna go, but it's still gonna be a lot of fun. hopped in the car it is so humid my camera's fogging up but I'm actually headed to go to the concert I'm meeting Jamie and then we're gonna head out Aiden and I also went to the pool earlier but I didn't record there because our pool that we go to it's just a community pool and it's a lot of kids so not a place that I'm gonna be recording at I'm so excited I need to get a second wind though I think I might pick up some sort of caffeinated beverage on the way over there because I definitely need a little boost, although I already have my coffee today, so I can't really have any more caffeine. Regardless, need a little boost, but I'm excited to rock out to some Paramore. It's gonna be good. Happy Sunday. Last night's concert was so much fun. I got back pretty late and then basically just sacked out for the rest of the night, but it was so much fun getting to see Paramore. Paramore is a band that I have just grown up listening to. It was a little bit sad because my sister Lindsay was the main one who wanted to go because that was really her era growing up, but she was sick, so she didn't go. But Jamie and I still had a lot of fun just jamming out. And then yeah, it's been a chill Sunday. Went to church, have been doing some laundry. I'm baking some bread, which is really exciting because I haven't in such a long time. And then I also stopped by the Nudes pop-up. They had a little pop-up in Dallas and it was so much fun to get to meet some of the people that I had been in contact with through them. And they had just such a incredible turnout too. It was really cool to see. I literally washed the shirt today and threw it back on because for one, it's so comfortable, but I wanted to wear something from them to the pop-up but just wanted to say thank you guys for watching today's video. I am just getting some work done, making some dinner. It's gonna be a pretty chill rest of the night, so nothing else really to vlog, but I love you guys, and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye.